Another measurement that we can take of a signal's amplitude is called the root mean squared, or RMS level. When we analyzed the peak magnitude, we were concerned with what is the maximum instantaneous amplitude in our signal. When we analyze the RMS level, we're concerned with what is the average signal strength across the entire signal. So it tells us different information about our signal's amplitude. Now, because we're working with an audio signal that can have both positive and negative values, we can't simply take the arithmetic mean of our signal, where we add up the value of all the samples and divide by the number of samples, because it's likely that the positive samples will cancel out with the negative samples, and our result will be something close to zero. That really doesn't tell us much about our signal strength. So conceptually, we're going to do something closer to looking at the average magnitude of our signal. When we write the code to perform the analysis of the RMS level, it's going to be a three-step process. First, we're going to square the amplitude of all the samples in our signal. Then, we're going to take the arithmetic mean of the squares of our samples. Finally, we're going to take the square root of the arithmetic mean of the squares of our sample. This is where the root mean square comes from. So let's take a look at writing the code to measure a signal's RMS level. Here's a demonstration of the process to calculate a signal's RMS amplitude. I'll begin with an example of using a sine wave test signal. At the beginning of my script, I've declared some initial parameters, and then I synthesize my sine wave signal. Down here at the bottom, I plot it so we can look at the signal we're working with. I'll run the script, and here's our signal. As a reference, I pulled up a website from Wikipedia that shows us what the RMS level should be for a sine wave. So here, if our sine wave has an amplitude of A, the RMS level is 0 0.707 times A. So if our signal has a maximum of 1, or a peak of 1, it's going to be the case that the RMS should be 0 0.707 times 1. We can use this to test our calculation. Over here in our code, to determine the RMS level, it's going to be a three-step process. The entire calculation is we want to end up with the square root of the mean of the squares of our signal. So we're going to go through the different steps, beginning with squaring each element in our array. So here, square each individual element. That'll be the first thing. I'll show you a quick example down here in the command window about the process of calculating an element-wise power operation. So if we've got a signal here, I'll use this one that takes values 0, 0 0.51, and also has some negative values down here. So if we want to square each element in this signal, we type in the command n raised to the power of 2, we receive an error from MATLAB. It says, this command is invalid. If we prefer to do element-wise power, we need to put in a period before our power uh, character here. So instead of writing the previous command, we'll put in n period raised to the power of 2. You can think of it as point-wise, why we would use the point or the period here. So now if I run this command, you'll see that each value or element in our signal is squared. 0, 0 0.25, which is 0 0.5 squared. 1. We also see down here in the negative values, they become positive. So this is our process operation for performing element-wise power operations. So up here, we're going to say that our signal square is equal to our input point-wise power to 2. If we like, we can plot this signal and verify our signal is just taking on positive values. Okay, so now we go from 0 up to 1. The second step is to take the mean of our signal square. So here we'll say the mean square is equal to the sum of the elements of signal square, 
divided by the length of our input signal. There's also a built-in function that you could use called mean that would perform the same kind of thing. But more explicitly, we are summing up all the elements in our signal, and then we're dividing by the number of elements. It's the arithmetic mean. The last step then is we're going to take the square root of this average. So we've got the built-in function for this. Would be the root mean square. It's equal to SQRT of mean square. And I'm going to leave off the semicolon to print the output down here to the command window. Remember, our result should be for a sine wave 0 0.707. I'll run the script. We can see that we have successfully calculated the RMS amplitude for our sine wave. Just to show you that this works for other kinds of signals too, I'm going to switch. Instead of using the sine wave, I'm going to use our acoustic guitar sound file located on my computer's hard drive. We'll read it in. We'll use it as our input signal to calculate its RMS level. So here we end up with something slightly different. It has a lower average overall signal strength. So these are the steps that you can use to calculate the RMS amplitude of a signal.